Poor Riddick, it's like the dude got demoted. It used to be the chronicles of him, and now it's just him, just his name. No more chronicles. Riddick. Yeah, just the name. So Riddick is the third Riddick movie starring the character Riddick. Riddick is played by Vin Diesel. He's this badass, he's this killer, and glowing eyes. He could see in the dark, his eyes glow in the dark. And the last time we saw Riddick, he was king of the necromongers, which are pretty much like space gods, and now they're like, eh, we wanna bring Riddick back down on track, you know, kind of the pitch black vibe. So we find Riddick on this desolate, shitty ass planet. Seriously, this thing, there's nothing appealing about this planet. It's pretty much Tatooine with claws. By claws, I mean a lot of predators, which is also funny, because where, where's the prey? I mean, this planet's loaded with predators and things that eat other animals, but they're all predators. I'm just saying, there are no bunnies. And of course, on this planet, there are a couple of mercenaries that find out Riddick's there, so they go there to take down Riddick, and now we have our Riddick movie. Now, what we saw in the trailer is that these mercenaries find Riddick, and then these big monsters start invading their fort, and now they have to work with Riddick to fight off the monsters, you know, one of those, well, there's a greater evil out there, so we gotta work together kind of things. Not really like that for most of the movie, though. Which really wouldn't be a bad thing, but I'm just saying, the movie and how it was written was a bit messy. I really feel like this movie was three movies in one. I mean, there's the first part where Riddick's down on this planet and you're like, okay, cool. He's gonna find out how to be awesome again. You know, he's like, oh, I've gotten too soft. I need to find the animal in me again. You're like, cool, Riddick. Yeah, train, all right? You're still training. And Man, you are still training. Then he runs across these mercenaries. And this is the coolest part of the movie because now it's a movie about him taking out these mercenaries like the Batman minus the bats. So he's hiding in the shadows and he's dragging them off and he's clearly outsmarting them. And you're like, this is cool. And that's what I like about Riddick. It's really what I like about most badasses that he's just badass. But you never find out how he's badass. In all the Chronicles, do we ever find out how Riddick is just so badass? We really just take it as, well, because he's Riddick. That's how he's badass. Kind of like how Batman got into Gotham in Dark Knight Rises, like, because he's He's Batman. He's not wearing hockey pads, neither is Riddick. Point is, they're all just awesome. And one of them is really good at ending lives. Katie Sackhoff's in it, she's one of the mercenaries, I'm just saying, she's all sexy and shit. Seriously, she gives these sexy ass looks, you're like, you, 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 mercenaries can't do that. I'm glad they do if they're you, I'm just, they can't though. There is a part of me that's like, she looks like she just walked right off the set of Battlestar Galactica. But then I remember Katie Sackhoff on the set of Battlestar Galactica was a chick I really wanted to have awesome sex with. So I'm just saying that's not a negative connotation, I'm just saying. It needs to be addressed at least. But then when you finally get to the part that is ultimately the sales pitch of the movie, which is what the trailer showed you, which is Riddick working with the mercenaries to take out the big monsters, it's about 20 minutes before the movie's over. Seriously, one sixth of the movie is actually that, which isn't a bad thing. You know I hate it when trailers spoil too much of a movie. I'm just saying the road leading up to that was just kind of shoddy. It was just a bit of a mess. There are some shitty lines in this movie. There are some cheesy ass lines in this movie. You just feel like some of the actors looked at this script and they were like, Director, I will toss your salad if I don't have to read this line. Katie, did you say that? Did you say that? Between you and me. Did you say that? Hey, you don't have to say. I'm just saying. So there were some cool stealth kill moments. The kills are really the best part of the movie. Or the best parts of the movie. I give the movie credit for wanting to go back on track to the pitch black vibe of the Riddick movies. But you feel like the rewrites and course corrections to get Riddick back on track to the whole pitch black vibe took over half this movie. Is it fun? It is a fun movie. It's a cool sci-fi-ish movie. It does have some cool mercenaries in this movie. Although some of the mercenaries have that alien resurrection vibe going on, you know. Right down to the gimmicks that they have to have with in them. I will say if this movie was a half an hour shorter and a lot less cheesy, would have been really cool. As it stands, still a fun enough sci-fi movie, if you're drunk. Yeah, now it's a party. But seriously, Katie Sackhoff, did you say that? Uh, I really want to know. All right, so of the Riddick stories, what's your favorite Riddick story? Whatever your favorite is, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.